Today, we're talking portals. One of the coolest effects every VFX artist should try at least once. Portals is honestly an effect that I have loved ever since I first started doing VFX. And honestly, it's simple in concept, but pretty tricky to pull off correctly. So in this video, I want to break down how a portal should actually work and then show you two solid techniques so that you can make one yourself. You've seen portals in all kinds of movies, each with their own special twist. We've got Doctor Strange and the Fiery Rings. We got Loki's shimmering doors. We have the iconic portal look from the game Portal, and even the portals we see in Endgame from Thanos' smoky cosmic openings. But despite all these different types of portals, they all have one thing in common. And we're going to get to that in just a second. Now, before we actually dive in, let me give props to some of the creators that have actually nailed the portal effect look. Of course, I have to mention the legend Eric from Eric Does VFX. I don't know what he does to his videos, but every single time he nails the perfect high quality VFX production look in every single video that he makes. Secondly, we have Marcos Medel. Hopefully, I uh, pronounced your name correctly, dude. He puts a creative twist to his portals by combining portals and FPV drone clips that he himself is flying. A special mention would also have to be Kevin Perry. This probably isn't a traditional VFX portal that you would think of, but in this specific video, I definitely think it does count. And of course, we have the very talented people over at Film Riot. They themselves have a few different portal VFX tutorials. So if you want a more in-depth tutorial on whatever we're talking about today, go ahead and watch one of their videos because they're definitely the pros at all of this. So to even get a good portal result, we obviously have to ask ourselves the question, what makes a good portal? What is it that all these great portals have in common? Well, at its core, a portal should feel like looking through a window. There's depth, dimension, and a real sense of another world beyond the frame. The biggest mistake people make is slapping on a 2D image and calling it a day. That never works. Maybe on a stable shot sitting on a tripod, but if there's any kind of camera movement at all, it just looks fake. To be able to have a good portal, that means you have to match the camera movement, lighting, and perspective of your shots. So let's actually get practical. I'm gonna show you two different techniques that you can use depending on which one you would rather do. Option number one is pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is shoot two separate videos, one in each location. You'll wanna mimic the same camera movement, lens, and framing for both shots. Then inside of After Effects, we're going to line up each shot, making sure that the motions of each video matches up perfectly. So after we've lined up the videos, we want to 3D track location one. This way, we can then bring in a 3D solid, which is where the actual portal is going to appear. We're going to mask out the shape of the portal and then use that layer as a track mat to reveal the second location through that. And that's going to be the window in which we're looking through. Now to give your portal a bit more character, what we want to do is duplicate the layer. We're going to add the free Saber plugin from Video Copilot and customize it as you want. Or you can grab a portal effect from Production Create or Action VFX. Adjust the mask on the track mat layer to match the new portal that you brought in. Add some glow, change the colors, and voila. And there you go. Now you have an official looking pretty cool hint. Hey, look at you. Good job. I'm proud of you. And that concludes option number one. Now, option number two is going to be using a 3D environment which is the way I personally prefer because just with the 3D track, it's going to give you that automatic natural look and different depth perspective that we want through looking at the window because the computer is doing all of the tracking and not us trying to mimic the same camera motions. So for option two, we're going to start it the exact same way that we did with option one. You want to film your shot, 3D track it, bring in a 3D solid to act as your portal mat layer. Now for the second location, as I said, we're gonna be going completely 3D by using AI Gaussian splatting. You can honestly use any kind of 3D environment tool that you want, but Gaussian splatting is the one that I have noticed to have the best results when creating natural looking lighting. And it's probably one of the easiest. So to be able to do that, I am using Polycam. You can just grab your phone, Open the app, scan your environment following the on-screen prompts. 
then upload and download the scan to your computer. Now, inside of After Effects, you will need a paid plugin, which is the Gaussian Splatting plugin. I do have a whole tutorial talking about how you can customize it and change it in right here, wherever the bubble pops up. But once you do have the plugin, bring in the scanned environment, apply the Gaussian splatting effect to it, and then you want to line up the 3D environment to match the camera perspective. And boom, you've got a fully dimensional portal view. Then you can do the exact same as we did in option one. You can use the effect Saber, you can add glow effects and different kind of VFX assets to bring the actual portal to life. And that's it. That was two different ways in which you could make a very professional cinematic portal VFX. Now, if you want me to break down and make a tutorial on how I was able to make the Doctor Strange portal, you're just gonna have to comment below and try to convince me. And if there's enough of you guys that wanna learn how to make it, I just might show you. So here's the deal. Comment down below which one would be your favorite portal to walk through, where you think it would lead you. I'll choose my favorite comment and I'll mention it in my next video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more VFX, and I'll probably see you in the next one. Peace.